Why should you consider studying in Poland? It's free, well, sort of. Living in Poland is relatively cheap for foreigners. Poland is a great place to explore Europe. The university's summer break lasts three months and the weekend starts on Thursday. Interested to know more? So stay with me. Cześć, I'm Veronika from Welcome Home and it's already been a year since I've started to show you my country, Poland. Do you want to give us a birthday gift? Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. At Welcome Home we rent apartments and many of our long-term tenants are foreigners coming to Poland to study. I ask about their experiences living in Poland. What do they say? Hi, my name is Amir. I'm a student at the Medical University of Silesia in Katowice, Poland. I really enjoyed my stay in Poland. I mean, making friends was easy. Most of the people are friendly and interested in meeting foreigners. And the most shocking to me was the weather. I mean, in the past five years, I didn't feel Poland is as cold as people might think it is. Thanks, Amir. If you want to know more about studying in Poland, here are some basic pieces of information. The higher education system in Poland. In Poland, we have a two-step Bologna process. First, you can get a bachelor's degree in three years, and that's called licenciat, or an engineer's degree in three and a half years. It's called ingenier. At this stage, most Poles consider their university education incomplete and pursue a master's degree, magister. This second step takes another two years. Then you can get a PhD degree called doctorat. It usually takes another two years or more. Importantly, the master degree can be in another related field and this gives you cool opportunities to gain additional knowledge. Degrees for doctors, dentists, veterinarians, pharmacists and lawyers require the full five years of studies. If you want to specialize in a certain field or gain additional knowledge, you can do a postgraduate course. They last two or four semesters and you learn something more specialized, but you don't get an additional university degree. For most majors, there are no entrance exams. University admission is based on the results of the high school graduation exam, Matura. So when choosing the optional subjects for the exam, you need to know what you want to study at the university and what subjects are required. Students who are undecided tend to start studying philosophy or sociology and may or may not finish the major. Full-time and part-time students. When choosing a degree program, you can decide whether you want to study full or part-time. Full-time studies, studia dzienne, usually last from Monday to Friday. Sometimes you manage to arrange your schedule so that you have a day off. Part-time studies, studia zaoczne, are held on weekends, Saturday and Sunday. We used to think that the part-time option was usually chosen by those who already had a job and wanted to be independent while still pursuing a degree, and the full-time option by those who prefer to party for a few more years. I guess there is some truth in this. University fees in Poland. I have to admit, I misled you a little bit in the very beginning of this video. Yes, studying in Poland is free of charge, but only at public universities and only for full-time students. Do you, as a foreigner, have to pay for university in Poland? It depends. You won't pay if you are an EU citizen or European Economic Area citizen. You have a valid postcard or you have a permanent residence permit or a long-term EU residence permit. Another condition is a Polish language proficiency certificate. If you don't comply with these requirements, you will have to pay around 1-2k euros per year. Or you can come with a scholarship or an international exchange program. I will tell you more about them in a moment. The best universities in Poland. Whether you plan to come to Poland for your entire studies or just for one or two semesters, the choice is always difficult. We Poles tend to choose the university based on their reputation or for the city itself. There are two Polish universities long considered to be the best. The University of Warsaw, the Jagiellonian University in Krakow. Also, the cities of Warszawa and Kraków compete with each other to be the most attractive cities in Poland. Every June, the Polish Educational Foundation Perspektywy announces a ranking of the best universities in Poland. This year, the results are as follows. 
I'm not going to read them all now. You can pause or take a screenshot. If you want to know the full list, check the link below. The best student cities in Poland. If you wonder which cities are the most student-friendly, go back to the previous list. You will see we mentioned above Kraków and Warszawa, but also Wrocław, Gdańsk, Poznań and Łódź. These cities offer not only a high level of education, but also great architecture, history, tourist attractions and free time activities. And that's just as important as the university itself, or even more. If big city life is your thing, I recommend Wrocław and Gdańsk. They have a charm. And if you're open to something less obvious, check the industrial city of Łódź or our city of Katowice. Katowice is constantly changing and, along with the entire region, has a lot to offer. It's also a great base to explore this part of Europe. Where to study in Katowice? The most respected universities are Silesian University, Silesian University of Technology, the University of Economics, the Medical University of Silesia and Krzysztof Kieślowski Film School. Link to their website is also in the description. The Erasmus program and foreigners in Poland. If not for the entire degree, then at least come for one or two semesters. For example, on Erasmus. Poland loves the Erasmus scholarship, both hosting students here and going abroad. Poland's been a member of the Erasmus program for more than 20 years now. Since then, more than 200,000 Polish students have gone to study abroad, and more than 120,000 students came to us. The nationalities that come most often to Poland are the Spanish, the Turks, the Germans, the French and the Portuguese. Would you like to be the next? Foreigners in Poland are not only Erasmus students. There are several more scholarships. I recommend the website StudyGov.pl to search for your perfect match and learn more about the requirements. In the beginning, I mentioned that many of our tenants are students. What do they study in Poland? Most often medicine, law, economics and management. A fun fact, during the academic year 2021, we had 85k foreigners from 189 countries studying in Poland. What a mix! What does an academic year look like in Poland? An academic year consists of two semesters. The winter semester is from October to January. In February, it is a break and an exam session. This is the two-week time when you have to pass all your exams. March to June is the summer semester that ends with a summer exam session at the end of June. If you pass, you will have three months of vacation. If not, the makeup exam session falls in September. You would better learn, honey. The grading system is 2 to 5 point system. The best grade you can get is 5, very good, and the worst 2, unsatisfactory. The minimum passing grade is 3, and that's enough for students to be completely happy. In an exam session, you usually have two chances to pass. You didn't, then you have to retake it. You didn't pass it either, sorry, you are out. Every major has specific subjects each semester to be passed. All of them. In Poland, you don't choose your subjects. Each is compulsory, even physical education for full-timers. There are theoretical and practical classes. The theoretical class is usually one and a half hour monologue by the lecturer. Practical ones are usually more interesting, there are discussions and exercises. You get the schedule shortly before the beginning of the year and it can change. You can miss practical classes two times in the semester. Theoretical classes are not mandatory. If you hit a day with only theoretical classes, sometimes you can take a day off. But of course, only in justified cases, for example, when going on a trip around Poland. There is a belief that most of subjects are boring and what you have to do is to learn, pass and forget. I have to admit, I agree. Many classes are just waste of time. Even if your major is interesting, there are always at least one boring class to pass. At the end of your three or two years and you have passed all your exams, you must pass a final exam or write a thesis and then you have a thesis defense, a famous obrona. It depends on the major. A student's reality and some fun facts. Remember who is the boss. If going to the dean's office, always be polite, 
smile and don't ask too many questions. You just want to get your things done, right? A student's record book is a sacred thing. In the past, it was only in paper form and the worst thing that would happen to you was to lose it. Now, more and more universities have it in e-form, which is obviously more convenient, but I kinda miss the paper one. There is no free food. Sometimes there is a small shop when you can grab a coffee or something to eat, but most often we bring our own sandwiches. We have lots of jokes about poor Polish students that have no money, eat mostly frozen crap and spend their money on cheap beer. And speaking of beer, in bigger cities there are bars that offer discounts for students and organize students' parties. Yep, most often on Thursday, that's why the weekend starts on Thursday. One of the best things about being a student in Poland are reduced tickets for public transport. It's half the regular price. Also, there are some discounts at cinemas, museums and pools. And after all, being a student is just a great adventure. If you have a chance to live that time in Poland, you are invited. Can't wait to have you here. Cheers!